Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to yet another video. Today we've got predictions for the second legs of the playoff semi-finals in the championship. I've got playoff fever, Sophie, but I'll tell you what, were the first legs a bit disappointing? Very disappointing. I knew there'd be cagey games, but two nil-nils was so boring. I know, there's no goals to talk about from the first legs, but what it does mean is both games hang in the balance mm -hmm. going into the second legs. So this is gonna be an interesting one. As always guys, share your predictions down in the comments make sure to drop a like we'll go for 1500 on this one we set that as the like target last time and we just didn't do it so let's see if we can do it this time it's free to like and it's also free to subscribe as you can see we are so close to 65,000 subscribers so make sure you've subscribed if you haven't already and we've also got the final episode of premier league predictions coming tomorrow as well it's not really worth running through the score sophie very ironically it was a nil nil draw between us yeah. because we both backed either teams to win yeah. no one went for a draw um, so the scores are still the same let's get into the prediction so if let's start with Thursday night's game which I'm excited to stream on the channel it's Leeds United versus Norwich City and as we said after a nil-nil draw at Carrow Road it's all to play for now the general feeling might be that Leeds United are slightly happier with the draw at Carrow Road yeah but Norwich are still in it you know they've not lost so they're still in it yes they didn't take a win from the home advantage but um, if you think back to you know Coventry versus Middlesbrough last season that was a nil-nil draw mm -hmm. and then the away team Coventry went on to win the second leg so I think you're going to need to see a very very impressive Norwich City performance here for them to get through mm -hmm. but with the way David Wagner plays, especially in these playoff games, as we saw before with Huddersfield, it's not impossible that they could get an early goal or something and just keep a clean sheet and job done there at Wembley. I think this is where Leeds United really need to try and show their firepower. I think if this is a tactical game, that suits Norwich more. Do you know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. like Leeds United don't want to go They're down. they edgy. Yeah, ex yeah, exactly. I think they should play with the confidence that they have a very, very good squad and they're more than capable of winning this game. So if they play that way, I think they'll win. If they hold back and have the handbrake on throughout the game, that suits Norwich. Absolutely. I think you're spot on there. I think that the thing is here, when you look at the teams, yes, Norwich have some great players with like Sargent, Rowe and Sainz, but this Leeds United team at Ellen Road with that incredible atmosphere behind them can blow anyone away. Mm -hmm. And that's what they need. I think they need an early goal because the longer it stays nil-nil, the more I would fancy Norwich, actually. Yeah, I agree. Oh, this is difficult. It still kind of hangs in the balance. Yes, the bookmakers are going to make Leeds United favourites, but, you know, we've seen this before with Leeds United against Derby County. They came back to Ellen Road with a 1-0 lead and, of course, lost. I'm not saying that's exactly going to be what happens this time, but it can be what happens. You know, Ellen Road is definitely a ground which can swallow you up if you're an away team mm -hmm. or an away fan. But it can work the other way if Norwich City can manage that crowd. Oh, what's your feeling before we get on to a prediction? I think there needs to be an early goal. For either team to go on to win it, I think it needs to be an early goal. But I don't see it there being an early goal. I think it's going to be another cagey game. Um, I don't see there being many goals in this at all. I don't see there being many goals as well. And do you think it's really possible we could get extra time and penalties? Yeah, I think there's a real chance of that, to be honest. Um, I was half tempted to back that, but I am going to pick a winner. I'm going to pick a winner, and I'm just going to go with Leeds United. I'm going to go Leeds United 1-0. I expect this game to be tight, but... If you get an early goal, as you said, that could actually open things up a mm. bit and we could either see a 2-2 a or even a 3-0 to one team if they run away with it. I'm just going to go with Leeds, Sophie. I think Norwich will come and try and keep it low scoring, but I can just see the quality of Somerville or James or someone just pinching a goal mm -hmm. and Leeds get to Wembley. 1-0. Yeah, you know, I was so tempted to say another 0-0. Um, extra time and then I'd probably lean towards Leeds being the home side on penalties but as I said I am going to pick a winner and I agree with your scoreline I'm going to go 1-0 Leeds I think the home advantage is going to play its part here yeah so we're both going for a 1-0 win to Leeds I just I, it's so difficult with these games because it's basically a cup competition now it is now yeah and that's why you're not going to throw everything at it and it will be quite cagey but oh it's about that balance yeah, isn't it exactly. Leeds, Leeds United I think I've got the firepower to chuck a lot at this, but they've got to be careful not to fall into Norwich's trap. Yeah. 
So we're both back in Leeds. We're sorry, Norwich fans. We still think you've got a very good chance, but we are just going with Leeds there. So if, on to the next game, the final game. It's at St Mary's on Friday. I'm looking forward to watching this one as well. Southampton versus West Brom, Sophie, which was, of course, another nil-nil draw. Um, I watched all of this game on Sunday, and I thought West Brom started really well. Mm -hmm. I thought Southampton came back into the game and had some good chances themselves. And ultimately, it could have actually been a 2-2 draw with some of the chances that were missed in this game. Once again, a nil-nil draw is probably more beneficial to Southampton, but West Brom are still yeah. in this, and Carlos Corboran is a manager that can grind out a, a mm. one-nil win or something, so they're still in this, West Brom. Yeah, I thought that Southampton might have actually got the win in the first leg, but seeing them play, I actually thought that a draw was a fair result, so... Southampton being the home side now, I think they've got to use that to their benefit, much like the Leeds game. Yes, I think you can write the same narrative for this game as the Leeds-Norwich game. And Southampton have got to try and use that firepower to blow West Brom away a bit, you know, especially at home where there's going to be an expectancy for them to be getting on top, mm -hmm. which might once again play into West Brom's hands. I agree with the bookmakers making Southampton favourites. I just... I just have a feeling West Brom could cause some problems. Do I think they could get through, though? They're going to have to be inch perfect. And if you look at the, the form towards the end of the season, West Brom weren't perfect, but neither were Southampton. It's once again just a case of who's going to turn up on the mm. night. And, oh, God. Do you know what? For this one, so I'll let you get your prediction in first. Okay. I'm, I'm scratching my head, and <sighs> I feel like I should go for Southampton, but... I don't know, if West Brom score first... Yeah, it could be anyone's game. But similar to the Leeds game, I could see this one playing out as a draw and then I'd probably lean more towards Southampton either an extra time or penalties. But again, I am going to pick a winner and it sounds so boring, but I see this one being another low-scoring game because there's so much riding on these games that it is hard to... As I say, just take that handbrake off and just play with that freedom because there's so much riding on it and both teams want to get to that final at Wembley. Oh, I'm going to pick Southampton. I'm going to say 1-0 Southampton. So I'm going for both home sides, 1-0. <laughs> it's boring, isn't it? It's going to be like the least memorable playoffs ever. Well, um, yeah, I do kind of agree with that. Southampton are quite a lot of people's favourites to go on and win the playoffs mm -hmm. as well. Oh, they did the double over West Brom, but in the last game, it was a 0-0 draw. Can West Brom sneak through here i'm gonna go for it i do feel like southampton is the more favorable pick but let's go for a little surprise then just to keep things interesting i'm gonna back west brom um how are they gonna do it i'm gonna say southampton one west brom one west brom win on penalties oh, okay so you think it's going all the way i think it could do yeah wow. i think these games are very very close yes. and um Southampton, as we said, maybe the more attacking team, but West Brom are very good at staying in the games, but yeah. they need to be so, so on it. Mm -hmm. They need a good display from Palmer in goal. They need the defenders, Kipre and Bartley, to be heading everything away when it comes into the box. I'll go for it. I'll okay. go for a West Brom win for them to play Leeds in the final. So okay. there you go. We're, at least we're not we're going, going the same. Yeah. At least we're not going the same. Well, there you go, guys. That wraps up our predictions for the second leg of the Championship Playoff semi-finals. How confident do you feel that it will be a Southampton Leeds final, as you say? I'm not that confident. Oh. Uh, I'd say I'm 50-50, because even with my <laughs> predictions, I'm like... <sighs> I could see anything playing out here yeah. just because of how the first legs went. If it went how I predicted first time, I think, okay, uh, fairly confident. But no, right now, it just could be anyone. I think this is probably the tightest championship playoffs I can remember in quite a few years because they all came into it in some patchy form yeah exactly so who knows it's very open share your thoughts down below guys whether you support a team involved or not get your predictions down below uh, make sure to drop a like as we say we're going for 1500 make sure to subscribe thank you for joining me sophie thank you we will see you guys in the next one take care peace out